Welcome, everybody, to the Bloody Podcast, where we talk about news, trends, and, um, random shit. Um, it's, it's definitely not, um, a new version of the Monday Talks, which were, um, boring as fuck. It's not, it's definitely not that. Uh, this time, I won't really talk about myself. I'll talk about, um, shit that's going on elsewhere in the world with other people, politics, whatever, whatever the fuck going on in the world um so to start things off we got our first topic of the day let's talk about the youtube ad problem recently youtube has began to demonetize a lot of videos because they either contain swearing violence whether fake or real contained representations of terrorism no matter uh, how they, no matter what representations they were, real or like in a video game, no monetization for you. So now it seems like YouTube has began to be a lot more strict with the rules on what you can and can't upload. And many say that it's due to advertisers not wanting to be promoted in a video containing content that isn't, uh, quote unquote, family friendly. Uh, yes, that word that everybody on YouTube has in mind right now, family friendly. <laughs> Personally, I think that it, um, this is a really dumb change from YouTube, since a lot of people who were demonetized actually depend on the money um, they make on YouTube, and e- even YouTube loses a lot of money since they depend on content creators making money off of ads. So, it's like, you, you, you f*** yourself. That's why YouTubers such as PewDiePie began to swear less, and like, he even called himself the family-friendly Felix, which is uh, <laughs> kind of funny. But at the same time, other YouTubers... I haven't really been touched by the YouTube changes. Sometimes it's the, like very small things, like um, for for example, H three H three Productions once made a video called "Christian Moms Against Dabbing," demonetized because it's because ha- it had the word "Christian" in it. Now you see uh, how dumb that is. It took up twenty seconds where they mentioned a group on Facebook called "Christian Moms Against Dabbing." Uh, on a 12 minute video and immediately demonetized. I think we just gotta wait it out and see what happens next. I mean, there isn't much you can do. Like, either you go with the changes or you don't and you see your channel slowly be disintegrated into nothing by the hand of God. Until I start monetizing my videos, which won't be until a while because, you know, I'm 18 years old yet. Um, my swear words and offenses shall not be censored. But, if they go even further to the point where they begin to age-restrict these videos which are not monetized, then you bet your ass I'm going to censor the living shit out of my videos, man. On to our next topic, World War Three. So, World War Three at this point is, you know, pretty much inevitable. I mean, North Korea has pretty much declared war to the United States and, um, they're testing missiles. Missiles. So yeah, um, USA is pretty f***ed. Like, no offense USA, but you're sort of not in your prime at the moment, you know? Like, you're not in the- you're, we're not- it's not the 1960s anymore. You know those kids that used to be really cute? And they grow up to look like absolute heads. That's pretty much what happened to USA. It's- it's gone completely left field. They, they aren't really allowed to use nuclear technology. Which is maybe something to be relieved about, but you can't trust your enemies, so... Fortunately, I live in Canada, because a country of peace and help, but, um... Of course, Donald Trump is gonna drag us in there, and we're too polite to say no. Eh? So we're all f***ed. Okay, everybody, um... I think this is it for the first bloody podcast. Um, I'll try to make these maybe monthly. So... Um, hope you slightly enjoyed it, uh, somehow, uh, like, and or leave a comment that would tell me that you would like more of this. If not, I'll just stop it there and, you know, move on. Anywho, subscribe to Bloody Munchkin, who is I, Bloody Munchkin, and I'll see you in the next episode, maybe, if you like it, on the Bloody Podcast. See ya.